Hey guys, uh, welcome back to this playlist, uh, which talks about all the uh, real-time interview questions which you will face uh, in your Tosca interviews. So let's jump to our next question. Uh, this is the ninth question in this particular series. So if you have not watched the earlier questions, then go ahead and look at this particular playlist. So talking about uh, this particular question, uh, it's related to uh, the CI-CD integration uh, with Tosca. Now, no matter which technology or uh, which uh, role you are applying for and uh, you are uh, appearing for an interview, no particular interview can be complete without a CI-CD question, right? So uh, if you are a tester, if you are a developer, if you are in an automation role, um, well, uh, a CI-CD question is a must nowadays. So uh, it's pretty imperative that you uh, give a lot of importance uh, to this particular section uh, no matter if you have worked on it or you have not worked on it, a good amount of preparation should go uh, into this particular topic, right? So uh, this question uh, is basically to test uh, whether you are aware of the CI-CD process, whether you have worked on any particular CI-CD tool when you were working with Tosca, whether you have integrated your tests uh, with that CI-CD uh, tool, which you have used uh, while working on your project. So all of these different factors uh, are looked upon when um, you are being asked this particular question. So to state this question, uh, it's basically asking you, how can you trigger your tests automatically? Now, indirectly, uh, it is obviously asking you how you have integrated uh, your tests so that they can be run automatically or they can be triggered automatically uh, from a particular tool. Now, when you're trying to answer this particular question, uh, try to uh, consider all the options uh, and don't directly jump uh, into the CI-CD tool like Jenkins, right? You can also talk about um, the other tool, which is a default tool uh, part of your Windows, uh, which is the Windows Task Scheduler. So using this also, we can trigger our tests automatically, right? So consider both the options uh, when you're trying to answer the question so that uh, you can talk about uh, the task scheduler if you have not worked on uh, any CI-CD tool like Jenkins. If you have worked in Jenkins, then uh, go ahead and talk about the CI-CD integration with Jenkins and Tosca. Now to answer this particular question, uh, you need to know um, all the different options which are available uh, with Tosca, okay? So there are a couple of ways uh, you can uh, integrate the CI-CD tool with Tosca. The most popular option is obviously Jenkins. Uh, it's quite easy to integrate Tosca scripts uh, with Jenkins, so you can trigger and you can run your scripts directly from Jenkins. But here also there are different options, as I said. So all the latest versions of Tosca, uh, which you'll be working on, uh, you have to work with the Tosca execution client. It's the latest uh, addition to uh, the CI-CD uh, tool set for Tosca. Previously, they were using Tosca CI, but now they have moved to Tosca Execution Client, which is more um, of a script-based tool, right? So uh, it is more configurable and uh, it is also easy to set up and then uh, you can integrate it with any CI CD client. So uh, talking about the different options, uh, the first option uh, which can be done without using Tosca Execution Client is also using the TC shell which is uh, the command line tool for Tosca. Okay, so using this particular uh, tool, we can actually integrate it uh, either with Task Scheduler or with Jenkins to trigger our tests automatically. So here you need to uh, mention about the whole process, how you will integrate uh, the TC shell with a Task Scheduler or Jenkins. In both the cases, you need to have a batch script, which is a Windows batch file. Now inside this batch script, uh, you will be calling um, a TCS file. Now this TCS file uh, will contain all the commands which will be executed using the TC shell, right? So it could be checking out the pro project or it could be checking out a folder, uh, execution folder, and then you will be uh, executing uh, all the executions list inside that particular folder. Uh, you will be exporting the reports and all the other commands can be integrated into a particular TCS file. And then that TCS file could be called uh, with the help of the Windows batch command. Now, why Windows batch command? Uh, because we want to call that Windows batch command from another tool. 
so that they can be triggered automatically. Now we can easily schedule it using the task scheduler. Uh, we can uh, call that batch script and then we can put on a schedule so that it can run automatically on based on a schedule. Uh, if you want to do more advanced scheduling or uh, more advanced options, then we have to use Jenkins, which is a CI CD tool. So there again, we can call the Windows batch command, which is a calling a dot bat file, which contains um, the TCS script, uh, which will run internally on the TC shell, right? So this way also you can um, actually um, integrate your uh, CI CD uh, with Tosca using the TC shell. So everything will be executed uh, from the backend using this DC shell uh, script. So this is uh, one way of um, automatically triggering your uh, Tosca tests using the DC shell with either Task Scheduler or Jenkins. So you can always uh, elaborate on this particular point uh, if you don't want to go into the Tosca execution client. Now, the other two options um, are uh, related to Tosca execution client. As I said, it's available with most of the recent versions. Uh, one thing to mention here is uh, you need to mention that this will only work if um, AOS is enabled with text uh, in your Tosca project, right? So this will not work uh, if Dex uh, is not using AOS. So do remember uh, to mention this particular point if you are talking about Tosca execution client. Now Tosca execution client uh, with Jenkins, um, again, as I said, Tosca execution client uh, is a script-based tool uh, provided by Tosca. It's like an open source project uh, which is available in uh, GitHub. So from there, you can download this particular tool it is basically a PowerShell script um, and you need to call this PowerShell script uh, in your um, Windows command line. And then you need to pass certain parameters like you need to pass the project name, uh, you need to pass the server. Um, and if you're using HTTPS, then you need to pass the authentication, right? If you pass all these parameters, then um, it will execute your events. Now we need to uh, also mention the test events which we want to execute using the execution client. Now either we can mention it uh, in the same command or we can also pass um, a JSON file which will uh, basically contain all our events which we want to execute, okay? So it's a pretty configurable and it's a pretty easy setup where uh, we can prepare this particular command and we can directly run from Jenkins, we just need to uh, prepare a build and then uh, we need we can execute the PowerShell command, which we have prepared, which has all the parameters. And then it is also calling the PowerShell script, which we have downloaded from um, the Tosca GitHub page. And uh, we can directly call it in Jenkins and then it will execute all the events using this PowerShell script uh, based on um, whichever uh, either we uh, execute it in the DEX agents or we execute it locally. So this way uh, we can integrate uh, the execution client with a CI CD tool like Jenkins and we can trigger our tests automatically. Now the next option uh, is more uh, related to uh, the API. So if uh, we want to uh, integrate our Tosca scripts using an API. So this execution API is part of the Tosca server. So Tosca server has an execution API, which we can use to execute our events. In this case also, uh, we will be calling a particular REST API. And uh, the only difference would be we'll be passing all the events and uh, all the server information where we are trying to execute uh, in the request, right? So the API request will contain all the events which uh, we want to execute and all the environments, and we just call that API. And uh, like this, uh, we can actually uh, trigger our test automatically using an API. So this API, either we can use a tool to call this API, or uh, we can also use something called curl to just uh, have a curl command and then we can directly uh, run this uh, whenever we want to run or put it on a schedule. So these are the three different ways uh, we can integrate our Tosca with a particular CI CD client, or uh, we can trigger our tests automatically or on a particular schedule.
So all of these three answers are correct. Um, either you can talk about all the three options or you can focus on one particular option and then explain the end-to-end -end process uh, to the interviewer so that he has got a good idea of what you have done um, in this whole CI-CD process, which you have implemented in your particular project when you were working with Tosca. So that's all for this particular question, which talks about the CI-CD integration with Tosca. I'm always looking uh, for your feedback. Um, so do uh, include them in the comment section if you have any questions or you want me to focus on any particular question in the future sessions. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, I'll be soon back with another interesting question. Uh, until then, until then uh, keep learning Tosca and keep watching our channel.